It's a good looking van. It's a great garage. It is. <clears throat> Lovely red door. Now oh, you gotta keep your hand on it. Keep your hand on it for it to come out. Oh, shit, no problem. Loads of storage in these big lockers. More, more than big enough for a microwave in one of them. <clears throat> Old style oven. It has a grill, the new one doesn't. Solid do drawers. Proper windows, not the caravan style. Same fridge as we've got now, which is great. <laughs> Draw, brilliant, rather than a cupboard, much better. This is the bit I love, the bedroom. This all looks in perfect condition, this isn't bashed at all. steps to get up to bed. I think the dogs might just manage that. I love the storage in them for shoes and things and dog leads. Very comfy as well, we've tried it out. TV points up there and then just finally bathroom. Such a good use of space because it's two in one. It's like the, it's the socket, so you can do your hair in here, and this is the two in one bit. Ta da! So that would be your shower if you used it.
and it's also got two plug holes. Yep. But it just saves you that much space, doesn't it, in a seven metre van by having it combined? Mm. Because that's a lovely, lovely space to be in the bathroom. So that's it, babe. Take a view from back here. The build quality seems excellent, doesn't it? Yeah. We're just test taking it out for test drive. You can't hear any knocks, wobbles, shakes, anything. It's, it's proper solid, isn't it? Not from the cabin tree or anything. No. It was a bit from like the ovens and things because it wasn't prepared for travel. Yeah. But but a lot different to some of the other vans we've test driven, isn't it? The, uh, to me, the downside is the <coughs> Fiat cab. I, I was really surprised that I didn't really like it. I think we're used to the Ford and I love the Ford. Obviously this isn't the facelifted one but that is the new automatic gearbox. The seats sit a lot higher than the Ford. There's a bit of adjustment which makes them better. And I think, and it's a harder ride for sure. It doesn't feel as um, soft. Well, when you say harder ride, I think you mean there's less roll in the chassis. So the guy was telling us that, you know, if you're driving one of these as opposed to one of the Fords, the chassis is stiffer because they're designed to take more weight. But what that means in in on-road travelling is that you get less body roll, you know, as wagons go past you and things like that. Right. But I suppose it is a little bit stiffer. Yeah. Maybe not what you would consider quite as comfortable as the Ford. Yes. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. But I think you'd get used to it. We're just... We're just used to the Ford. Everything, you know, it's very positive, isn't it? The way that the, everything shuts. It's just yeah. very solid. You know, even the way these open, they just seem so much more solid than soft clothes. It, yeah. It's all positive, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good... They've got flush fit windows as well, which we were saying well what are the benefits of flush fit windows over some of the others because they are more expensive to install and we said you get less road noise because obviously it's aerodynamically better on the sides of the van it's a little bit more secure it's just little things i think like it's got to be it? a lot more secure because i couldn't believe it when we were looking at some of the the caravan ones on the last motorhome and you could literally <laughs> put your finger from the outside through to the inside and see your finger so I thought, oh, that doesn't seem very secure. Obviously, it's on lots of caravans still, and that's you what they are. The double floor. Yes, I looked in that one, but we didn't look in this one, which is the same. Yeah. That's a bonus, so, isn't it? I think that gives you better sound insulation, better heat insulation. Better storage. Better storage. There's some decent storage under this chair as well, once you take the cushions off. <laughs> Not something you'd want to access all the time, but... Look at the depth on there. Let me just get the tape. Yeah, you can't really tell from here. You've got 470 mil in there. Yeah. They seem to have got an awful lot of storage in a 7 metre van here, don't they? So that's it. We'll check out the garage size. Okay. Here we've got 800mm wide opening and the depth of the door opening is 100, well 1130. 1130. On the inside you've got exactly 1200. And the width here is nearly 1100 you know so you get motorbike in there with wide handlebars mm. you know, it's on the 1200 now 1200's touch in top that's a great great garage that's huge quite like the locks don't you as well yeah and everything again it feels so solid you know we were even looking at the way that some of your cheaper vans they've got silicon that, that sort of you know around all these points bulges the out arches. gets you know, very stained these, it's all rubber it's all rubber it's a lot tidier isn't it yeah there's no silicon showing 
plastic windows. Again, it's all rubber here. The only little bit of silicon that we've actually noticed is just up at the top there, a little bit. There's a bit on the other side as well. But in general... In general, I think you can see why, you know, the upper market vans are a little bit more, well, a bit more expensive than some of the other brands. You can see where the money's going. Yeah. You know, you've got um, an outside shower point on here. So hot and cold. You've even got, you know, everything sort of inboard. So um, there's no chance of water freezing. And obviously you've got all the shut-off valves there and dump valves. If it does drop, I think, to five degrees, it sort of dumps everything out. You've got trim the hot and cold water and heating. Works off your gas. And electric. You've got plenty of room in there, haven't you, for two really good sized gas lock bottles. Very nice.